Okay, in this video we're going to look at the half circular ring, thin ring, cantilevered at both ends, a planar structure with a load F applied right at the center, even though it may not look like it, load F applied right at the center in the vertical direction and in the plane of the ring. Last time in, we looked at this both analytically and in MathCAD by taking this cantilevered end and replacing it with three forces. Then we also looked at an equivalent structure where we cut the ring and recognized that where the force is applied there can be no slope. That's behaving like a guided cantilever, but also recognizing there is going to be some horizontal force. And so when we make the cut, we replace the, we put this reaction, which is a guided cantilever that can apply a moment to keep the slope at zero, and it can apply a force in the horizontal direction keep that deflection at zero. We looked at the equations for solving this one analytically and just sketched out the equations. Now we're going to solve those equations in MathCAD. So changing windows and going to the MathCAD document and back up to the top. We had previously written our moment equations to be something that involved that right hand uh, axial load and a one minus, cosine and ther one minus cosine term. We had our load F applied and we have our moment B. Let's just jump back to the other window and take a quick look at that. Okay, as a function of theta, this R is going to cause a one minus cosine theta kind of moment. This F is going to provide a sine of theta moment in the other direction and then this MB will provide a moment for all values of theta. The moment equations will look like this. Then we're going to take the derivative of the moment of equation with respect to RBX. We get the 1 minus cosine theta term. Derivative expect with respect to the moment, we get a 1. And then the derivative with respect to the applied load F we're going to get a minus r sine of theta, minus r sine of theta from right here. Then we're going to write two equations, two unknowns, and we'll go ahead and add in the deflection as well. Writing the deflection term over the entire ring of the quarter circle, the moment, and then we're going to use the partial of the moment with respect to the x load that'll give us the x deflection at the reaction but we know that x deflection is equal to zero. The deflection equation involving the moment and the partial of the moment with respect to that moment at B that's going to give us the slope at the place where MB is applied but we know that that slope is zero so we set that equal to zero. When we actually plug in all of the details which is all of these equations plugged in and then analytically integrated, set equal to zero, and solved. We can actually solve for RBX and MB. But while we're doing the solving, let's go ahead and solve for one other thing. Let's write an equation that says the deflection where the load applied is 1 over EI. We need the 1 over EI now because we're not setting this equal to zero. 1 over EI integral over the entire ring, moment times the partial of the moment with respect to the applied load F times RD theta. These three equations can be solved for RBX, the reaction that causes the center deflection to be zero in the X direction, our MB which causes the center slope to be zero, and finally the deflection at the place where the load is applied and here we have our reaction in the X, our moment, and this term is the deflection where the load F is applied. And if we look back at the previous MathCAD document we talked about, this load is, is twice, I'm sorry I'm saying this right, this isn't a load, this is the deflection. This deflection is twice the, the deflection we got in the previous document. Why is that? Looking at the picture. We've got the entire load F 
deforming only half the structure. Okay, so we should expect to get twice the deflection that we would get here. If the load we apply here is F over 2, we'll get exactly the deflection that we would apply right here. So we would need to go back to MathCAD and take this deflection and divide by 2 to get the same answer as the previous document.